Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss the proximal tibiofibular joint which is also called as the superior tibiofibular joint. As the name shows this joint is between the proximal ends of the tibia and the fibula or the superior ends of the tibia and the fibula. How it is formed? The articulation is between the lateral condyles of the tibia and the head of the fibula. This joint is called as proximal tibiofibular joint. The articular surfaces are flattened and they are covered by hyaline cartilage. This is a synovial joint which is of plane or gliding variety. The capsule surrounds the joint. See here, the capsule is surrounding the joint and it is attached to the margins of the articular surfaces. Remember again that this joint is in between the proximal ends of the tibia and the fibula. There are some ligaments which are present at the proximal tibiofibular joint. First of all, the anterior and the posterior ligaments. This is anterior ligament of the joint. This is strengthening the capsule. Same is with the posterior proximal tibiofibular ligament, which is also strengthening the capsule. So these are anterior and posterior ligaments of the proximal tibiofibular joint. Then there is interosseous membrane. See here, this is interosseous membrane which connects the shaft of the tibia and the fibula and it is also strengthening the joint. Synovial membrane lines the capsule and is attached to the margins of the articular surfaces. The common fibular nerve, see here this is the common fibular nerve which is the branch of the sciatic nerve will supply the proximal tibiofibular joint. Because it is a plain gliding joint so a small amount of the gliding movement take place during the movements at the ankle joint.